Cougar fans, welcome back to part three of our interview here with NYSA. Uh, be sure to go get the, the subscribe to Cougar board so that you can get our live streams. There's some, some nice conversations that go in every now and then that people don't see, so be sure to, to subscribe to that as well. It's, it's uh, some good, good, fun, extra content. Um, but in this, in this third part of our interview, we're kind of going to go into a little bit more of the coaching changes as well as prepping for the Big 12. So Coach Gione came in, uh, and how, how do you feel like he's changed your room? Man, Coach Gione, man, I'll, I'll do anything for that guy. Uh, it's my dog right there. He's uh, I feel like he's done a he's done a lot for us. Um, just being a leader, the natural leader that he is, and uh, teaching us to be leaders as well. Not just the ones, not just the twos, not just the threes, but everyone in the in the group uh, in the D line as a whole. So I feel like that's one thing that's really different is um, his uh, coaching, the way that he coaches. He he doesn't coach anyone different than the other person, um, but then he also coaches us. Um, he doesn't treat us any different, but he also coaches us differently because he knows that not all of us are the same. Yeah, that's one thing I, he think. I think he's a very personable coach. Um, he takes, he tries to see each and every individual strengths and weaknesses, and he work he works on that with that specific person. And I think that's um, one thing that's really helped all of us. He understands that some of us gather and step with our steps or step and gather, but as long as we have our frame underneath us, and um, just really his philosophy is. Um, it just um, has been really good for the for the group as a whole, and I felt like we were learning a lot from him. We'll continue to. Has it changed in the film room uh, with this coaching change? Uh, looking back and watching practices, watching games, like how has that? Uh, has watching film with him changed? Man, watching film with him, he definitely knows what he's talking about when it comes to when it comes to technique. Um, you know, alignment, assignment, technique, hands, leverage, because. Uh, so I mean, he's played nine years in the, in the in the league, and yeah. you know you you can learn a lot from playing nine years in the league and stuff like that. And not only that, playing college previous to that, but just has a lot of knowledge, uh, very knowledgeable of the game, understands it really well, and just tries to break that down for us. But first, uh, he really goes to the basics, and we're, we'll continue to go into more advanced stuff. Yeah, and he's also just a good guy. Like he's just fun. Like he's nice to be around. He's, he's nice. He's kind. Um, so I actually met him back in 20, 2018 when I was over at Cougar High School. Uh, I got pulled out of class and saw him when he was at Navy. He flew yeah. all the way out and just talked to some of us over there. So I kind of got, got to know him a little bit then. And then finally seeing him come back here, I was like, four years later, I was like, wait, is this? Yeah. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I like go back on my Twitter feed, look at through. I was like, oh my gosh, I know him. So I went back, talked to him. I was like, oh, so I was like, what's going on? He's like, Ethan, so good to see you here, man. Like the, he knew who I was without even having to like take a second guess. Like he's just a, such a nice person personal guy that really really shows that he cares oh yeah bro he's he's like that um when people are around when people aren't around he's like that 24 7 that's the that's the one thing about him just very funny guy man you you be in our freaking groups and uh when we're watching film you know that guy could be dogging on you for a little bit <laughs> but uh, he always that guy's a funny guy man yeah. enjoy being around him during, especially during film uh, so as we, as we go into the big 12 this upcoming season uh, what kind of um, tools uh, it has it given you as a D-line to um, compete at this next level? I feel like there's a one thing I feel like he really teaches us is um, trying to um, giving us the ability to perform at, at an elite level, perform at our peak level. Um, he always has a scale, you know, scale from one to ten. Where, where do you feel like you are, and this is where you should be. And we're all every day. We're just always working towards that. If you feel like you need work on your hands, we'll be doing hand workouts. You know, for the for pretty much all the practice or just stuff like that. He he really takes our mentality and like really switches that up, showing us that we can we can be pretty much whoever we want to be. If you want to be if you want to be a great player, you can be. Um, so he really preaches that as far as mentality, and then techniques. Um, Everything that people run in the league, you know, is is exactly what we're is what we're practicing right now. Um, from just the techniques that we do with blocks and um, uh, formation recognition, really teaches that. So just overall the techniques, the IQ of the game, and also the mentality of like you can be who you want to be. Like he's really given that, and um, I feel like we're just going to continue to learn more. Yeah. I love how some of the greatest skills are off of the football field. Like they're mental, uh, they're just like getting smarter, learning. 
Um, Cause that's something that really is like it's half the game, half the battle is that that mind fight. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna wind out of our uh, of our third section. But before we kind of kind of get out of here, what are you looking forward to most uh, in the Big Twelve? I'm looking forward to playing against Texas, <laughs> uh, Oklahoma, all these guys, freaking TCU, playing them in Texas. That's gonna be a fun environment. And then just having, just seeing uh, the Cougar Nation come out uh, to all our home games, because I know we're going to have some big home games, especially starting off with Oklahoma and stuff. Um, and I know everyone's going to show up at every game, everyone. wherever we are. Yeah, they don't know, but you, man, Cougar Nation, y'all y'all bring the heat. And yeah. it's, it's, it's a pleasure work, uh, playing for y'all. So excited to see you guys interact with all y'all. And then just also being with the boys, being with you. Yes, sir. And uh, just continuing to grind. All right, nice. Well, I appreciate you, bro. Thanks for being appreciate on here. Thanks, man. Uh, Cougar Nation, that's going to uh, take us out of our part three of our interview. Go back and watch part one and part two of Calvin already with Nysa. Um, you're a good guy, man. You're my you're a good guy. I appreciate you. Uh, so go back and watch part th uh, those part one and part two. Thank you for watching part three. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, do anything that you can uh, to keep these going because uh, we enjoy doing them. It's nice to get to, I mean, I get to know all my teammates better, too, so it, it definitely helps. Um, but thank you, Cougar family, and we appreciate you. Uh, thank you for watching this interview. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss the other two parts of this interview, plus all of our other interviews we do with BYU athletes. We also like to give a special thanks to our Cougar Board insiders for making this possible.